peace, love, and light, my Capricorn Aquariuses, my Capricorn Thank you so, so much for tuning in to Cusp of Roses to Row, and thank you so much for being patient and allowing me to get this reading to you. Um, I had tried to do a reading prior to the new moon, and it just was not working. Um, the frequency was just not grounding at all, so um, just thank you for giving me the chance to kind of center myself. I was going through um, some upgrades, some ascensions, and managing some symptoms, and I think Spirit wanted your reading specifically to come out during this time on the night of the, I think this is a partial lunar eclipse in Aquarius. Um, so I'm super, super excited to see what we have for you for your Leo season love reading. Um, thank you so much for all of your comments, your likes, your subscriptions. They truly do mean the world to me and light up my entire day when I see them. So thank you for letting me know what resonates with you. Thank you for sharing your stories. Thank you for just bringing your loving energy um, to the comment section. It truly it just warms my heart that um, I'm resonating with you guys. You guys are resonating with me. You're resonating with each other in the comments. Um, it's just a very beautiful thing. So thank you so much for being gracious um, and allowing me to connect with your energy. So I did get the comment in my little hiatus uh, that my intros are a bit long. So I'm going to try to keep the prayer short, but be patient, please, with me <laughs> if it is a little bit longer. Um, but I'm super excited. So let's just go ahead and jump on in. I really, really... I just, the energy just feels really good for you guys. Um, a lot of healing. Um, I was getting blues, just very, very different shades of blue, just emotional healing. I also heard um, past life healing. So my Capricorn says you may be doing some purging yourself at the moment or may have just come out of a purging session. So uh, let's go ahead and just hop into the prayer. If you have any affirmations, prayers, or meditations that you like to do to connect with your higher self, your divine power, uh, please do so while I pray. Please remember as well that energy is fluid and time is an illusion. So if this reading does not resonate now, please feel free to check back um, a couple days from now, a week from now, a couple weeks, a month you know, and see if it resonates then. Uh, just go with your gut, okay? Um, if it's not hitting you in any of your energy centers, any of your chakra centers, like your heart chakra, your third eye, your solar plexus, your gut, um, then leave it. You know, it's not for you. There's no worries. This is a general reading, so it won't resonate for everyone. Just take what feels right. Take what feels sound. Take what gives you peace. Take what brings you a sense of calm and just leave the rest like literally forget everything else just drop it if it leaves you kind of confused or you're trying to make it fit you find yourself kind of twisting your face a little bit when you hear it it's not for you okay so don't even trouble yourself don't add stress into your life unnecessarily okay all right my cap says let's go ahead and hop on in heavenly father divine mother holy spirit ascended masters of light in my own divine ancestral council of light thank you so much for being with me waking me up this morning and thank you so much for being with my capricorn aquarius collective thank you for lifting my capricorius is up in your love and your light and your mercy thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel to connect and receive the capricorn aquarius cusp energy in order to provide the highest purest form of divine love messages and important messages for my Capricorn for Leo season as it is coming to a close but still very worthy still very informational you know as well as just leading them into Virgo season please just allow us to connect with the best most important uh, messages that my Capricorn Aquarius need to hear in this moment in time Thank you so much for lifting us all up in your love, light, and courage. Thank you for covering us in your mercy and in your grace. We love you so much, and we thank you for walking with us, lifting us up, keeping us covered and protected every day. 
Um, and we just graciously ask that you continue to love us and bless us and continue to love and bless my Capricorn Aquarius and lift them up, guide them through this healing, give them wisdom um, to discern between their energies and other energies because I'm definitely sensing quite a few empaths in this collective. So continue to keep them protected, continue to keep them uplifted. We ask all of these things in love and in trust. And so it is. All right, my Capricoriuses, let's just go ahead and hop on in. So like I was saying, uh, once I connected with your energy, I just started seeing blues. Blue, I started feeling blue. And not in necessarily beautiful, trust. Not in necessarily like a sad way, but just in a healing. Like, like just more breath, more air, more space. Um, so trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith, okay? So whatever you guys are dealing with, it's requiring you to trust a process. Um, divine timing and divine order is at play for you guys, my Capricoriuses. So definitely take this, these moments that may feel a little sticky, a little unsure, um, you know, that may feel kind of exhausting. Just take that time to truly trust in yourself, trust in your intuition, find rest, you know, relax, do some things nice for yourself that bring you that calm and peaceful energy. Okay. My Capricorius is, um, definitely needing to just trust your instincts a little bit, but I, I was just getting that strong kind of past life healing. Ooh, wow. Okay, beautiful, true love, past life, this is a romance of a lifetime, okay? And flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay, let's just go ahead, let me just stop talking and see, Capricarius in love, wow, okay. Soulmate, bingo, yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, so my Capricarius is you're definitely dealing with some past life love energies and again past life isn't necessarily um you know you can look at past life in a numer just numerous ways um so this could be like a past life within this life right so when you meet someone and you guys vibe and you end up dating or getting into a relationship or a serious relationship you create a life with that person you create a world an energetic third party with that person um and so that something that type of energy from your past may be coming out now also this could be actual past time periods where you've lived and where your soul has existed okay so just take what resonates um and leave the rest okay but what i'm loving capricarius is is that your energy is very unified you're definitely balanced between that earthy capricorn and that airy Aquarius, okay? Just, uh, yeah, trust. Trust in the fact that true love does exist, my Cap Aquarius, um, and this person or this opportunity may be that true match for you, that soul connection, okay? Now, mind you, love energy is not only romantic, okay? It could be family, it could be friends, it could be work, co-workers, it could be finances, it could be... Um, your own self it could be the relationship you have with yourself self-love okay so if you're not necessarily in a romantic love situation or you know you have no romantic love around you please feel free to just apply that to any of those categories okay very beautiful oh yep at the bottom of the deck we have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now okay capricariuses so it's very, very beautiful energy, very beautiful energy. So this is the Romance Angel Oracle deck, as always, and I'm going to go ahead and get some confirmations um, from the Sun and Moon Tarot, okay? Um, yeah, Capricarius, I'm just really, really sensing that there's someone or an energy, right? And this could be long distance as well. There's an energy coming into your energy field that you're sensing that is purging and triggering this need to trust, this need to have faith. So my Capricorius is you may be, you know, in this fit of emotion, 
fit of emotion. That's an interesting way to put that spirit. Okay. In this fit of emotion, um, where you're going back through, yeah, okay. You're going back through past relationships as this new true love soulmate energy is kind of circling in on you. It's pulling out this fear of abandonment, this fear of releasing, right? Um, this fear of letting go of the past, okay? Because you could tell in this card, right, trust, it's like the masculine energy is pointing out like they have to go. And then this is you, my Cap Aquarius is, you know, wanting them to stay, kind of not really wanting to let go. Um, but they're asking you to trust. And if you can see that red scarf or that red ribbon wrapped around her arm, that's like also resembles like the red string of fate. So Capricorius, the trust needs to come in where you're able to let go and release and be free and and allow whatever ebb and flow is coming in and from you to process. Um, I know, you know, Capricorius, is, that's a, it's a very strong, very strong cusp um, with just that grounded earth energy. Okay, that grounded earth energy and that airy, rebellious energy. It's quite a dynamic. And I think that that's what this purging is doing. It's pulling you into a, uni a, a unity within that energy, which is why this feels just so unified. And because you're realizing that your fear of losing this or your fear around this energy coming in is only because you're sensing that true love. Like it's real, right? It's a soulmate. Um, and it's, it's, it, yeah, spirit is saying, lift up that, that wall, lift up that veil, lift up that, that blockade from your aura and your energy so that this can come in. You have to trust that it is true and that it, what's for you is for you. That's what I've been trying to say. Thank you, spirit. What's for you is for you, Cap Aquarius, okay? These cards keep falling down, and I'm not really feeling it. Okay, let's just hop on in. So, trust. Thank you so much, Spirit, for these beautiful love messages. What do my Capricoriuses need to know regarding trust for Leo season in love? Thank you so much, trust for Leo season. Come on, man. Okay, so we have Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Trust that this is a new beginning. Trust that this is a new opportunity for a new, a new level in life, a new perspective in the 3D, okay? Yeah, that's bringing in this sense of happiness, this Nine of Cups energy. And this Nine of Cups is happiness within self. Okay, so this... Whatever energy you are purging and releasing, it's allowing you to have a new beginning and emotional fulfillment. So my Cap Aquarius is your previous relationships or connections might not, might not have brought in this happiness, brought in this Nine of Cups energy, right? It might have pulled you really away from that. And I think that that's where that trust is coming from. Like if I accept this Ace of Pentacles, right? If I accept that this is a new beginning, is it going to bring in the happiness, right? Am I going to be able to attain this happiness within myself? Am I going to be happy with this new beginning? But spirit saying, have faith. Anything else for trust for my Cap Aquarius is in love for Leo season? High Priestess, trust yourself. Trust yourself. Beautiful energy. Beautiful energy, Cap Aquarius is like... Oh, I'm so excited to dig deeper into this. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's just trust. This is this is the trust yourself card for me as a reader. This is trust the fact that you are grounded in your emotions. Trust the fact that you know right from wrong. Trust the fact that you have your ancestors guiding you with this crescent moon and this new moon. Some people like to call it. Um, but just trust that 
all of the elements that you're dealing with and that you have access to, my Capricorniuses, are working in your favor and are available for you to work in your favor, okay? No, I'm not feeling those. I'm not feeling those at all. Yeah, okay, let's just go into true love. Thank you so much. What do we have for true love? Yeah, five of wands, strife. This is the romance of a lifetime. This is you fighting yourself. This is fighting yourself. This is you going back and forth between is it real, is it not? You know, is this, is this, could this be the one? Could this not be the one? Am I going to let my wall down? Am I not going to let my wall down? This strife, this, this spiritual turmoil, right? Um, five of wands typically denotes like, I think in just traditional tarot, it denotes like this stickball game or some form of competition. So my cap Aquarius is, yeah, competition, luxury with the four of cups. My cap Aquarius is you may be feeling like this. Oh, excuse me, guys, if that got a little wonky in the um, mic there. Um, my Capricorius is you may feel as if you have to fight for this true love or fight mm, fight to be seen by this true love. Because if you look at this card, there's a cup in the moon, in the full moon. We have a full moon tonight. So this full moon energy may bring in the awareness, right, that that cup that true love does exist. So this is Cap Aquarius, right? This is you. Or again, your cross washer. This could be for, you know, someone watching a Cap Aquarius. But this is you with all of your past love cups, right? Your past relationships, looking at them, sitting in a lotus flower though. So lotus flower and then on the water for me, it's this sense of sensitivity. It's this sense of gentleness. It's this subtle blooming right this emotional blooming because lotuses have to really sustain in water to fully be bloomed right so you're getting this emotional unveiling of this cup right and i think that this strife is it's past right it's connected to that past energy that past energy yeah Let's get a little bit more on true love. Thank you so much, Spirit. Holy Spirit, for these love messages. Yeah, justice. Beautiful. I am loving these major arcanas coming out for you guys, Cap Aquarius. Like, justice. So, yeah, in the past, Cap Aquarius, which is why you're needing to trust this situation and trust this energy, is because you've had to fight. You've had to fight for those to be seen. In love, you had to fight for your love offer to be seen. You've had to fight for your love to count in your previous lover's eyes. You've had to truly go through some sort of internal conflict and some sort of battle or competition in the past due to the people that you were connected with having options, right? And maybe not looking at you for that option which caused you that internal strife like is it me is there something wrong with me you know what did I do wrong and so you're kind of going over that and over that in your head but justice is here Libra energy okay so we're definitely Libra energy is kind of coming up what towards the end of September I believe yes so give it some time Okay, this is what I'm getting. Give it some time. Give yourself some time to weigh out your emotions and weigh out your feelings. Divine is definitely here to bring you balance. Yeah, balancing the heart, right? The heart is on fire in this picture. I didn't even see that. Alpha and Omega signs too. Yeah, there's Alpha and Omega signs in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. But there's also that peace symbol, right? So balance is definitely coming in, um, and this is eight. So this is going to be an abundant balance, abundant sense of justice, right? This true love is that justice. This true love is that abundance, okay? This energy, this connection, this opportunity that's coming in, it is something that it, you are a true match for. So trust in that, okay? 
Let's move on into flirt. Very beautiful. Ooh, four of wands, the home vibration. All right, Capricorius, this incoming soulmate might be the match. Let's get something else. Please clarify this for. Okay. Three of wands, virtue, okay? Cultivating that sense of anticipation, right? For something new to come in. This is a leveling up. Beautiful. I think there was a peeker before I move on. Oh, the fool. Oh my gosh. Capricorius, get out of here. No, I mean, don't leave, but like still, Capricorius, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so you have the four of wands. Flirt, extend your lighthearted energies to others, right? So this, for me, is like, find that balance between masculine and feminine within, okay? So then you can really have a, a, a an even passion. Because I, I do believe that passion shows up different as feminine energy or within feminine energy and within masculine energy and this completion right of all that past energy you know okay so we even have a succession so you have the five of wands here with true love then you're moving to the four of wands right with balance and then you're moving to the three of wands with virtue okay so Spirit is is encouraging you, Capricorius, to relax. Okay, <laughs> so when you're when you're imagining this true love, when you're feeling that energy and the vibration of the true love, allow it to settle. Like allow it to be balanced in a sense where. You're maintaining who you are as this comes in. Yes, that's beautiful. Because it is a new beginning for you. It's a totally new vibration. It's a totally new scope, a new perspective, a new journey, a new path. But this path is requiring you to keep your virtue. Okay, to keep your sense of independence, to keep your sense of passion and your sense of connection to spirit because wands are very spiritual energy very fiery um yeah that just action energy maintain the balance and the actions that you're taking now don't allow the flirtatious and there we go don't allow that flirtatious energy that you may be feeling from the outside or from this person or from this opportunity, that magnetism, don't allow it to pull you out of your own sense of virtue, okay? Recognize it as a new beginning to cultivate this home vibration of the Four of Wands. Now, again, this could be within yourself. This could be with someone. This could be work, family, friends, finances, but if there's some true love some true magnetism coming in in this leo season for you guys that is elevating you through this spiritual development where you're starting to understand that alchemical mix between your emotions right um the pentacles that 3d but then your intuition is coming into play right and that balance divine balance that justice that need to measure your heart right that need to measure your heart up against your actions because you do have a new beginning here i, I mean i'm loving that there's major arcanas just clarifying all of this energy it is just gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous capricorius okay so there's a new chance right as you flirt as you kind of show off your skills in a way, right? I think this opportunity or this person or this love connection can activate that yearning for a new connection or that yearning for that yearning for like a bit of of a rebellious type of risk, right? to take a risk spirit is saying take a risk step out 
on faith and thrive. It's one of my favorite mottos. Okay, so I took a little peek at the queen, or <laughs> at soulmate, and queen of wands came out, as well as eight of pentacles. Okay, so your soulmate could carry this queen of wands vibration. So you may be dealing with a fire sign. There is a lot of fire energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then we have science. Okay. Six of swords. This is peace of mind. This is a new mental frontier, a new learning, learning new thoughts, new skills, an elevation in thoughts and skills. Because if you think about it, the five of swords would be that defeat that mental conflict that mental deception so then this is you moving into the six of swords getting clarity on what you've been maybe missing right getting clarity on the energy you want to carry in this relationship that's what i was getting with that virtue that sense of keep doing what you're doing cap aquarius because you're definitely balanced that virtue, that three of wands, your balance, you're waiting for that four of wands, right? And that's pushing you into this queen of wands energy. Now your soulmate could also have the queen of wands energy, right? But I'm definitely feeling that this is that Leo energy igniting that passion, elevating you, my Cap Aquarius, is into this fiery energy, this queen of wands um, vibration because you've been prudent right? This eight of pentacles, you've worked on yourself, you've worked on releasing that virtue, right? You've worked on aligning your new beginning with that home vibration of the four of wands, which is why spirit is coming in and bringing you justice in this situation or justice in this area of your life, right? To have a new beginning so that you can truly, truly express that fiery passion and show that prowess right um and this could be your feminine energy uh again we all have masculine and feminine energies within so gender doesn't really apply to energy just keep that in mind but you've worked very hard for this you've cultivated enough energetic stability you've worked enough on your energetic stability to have this clear mind, to be able to think clearly when it comes to this soulmate, to, to get clear on what you want in a soulmate, right? And that might have brought in a tower moment. Now, this is Scorpionic energy, okay? So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. We have the happiness of the Nine of Cups here and the Four of Cups. So not too much watery energy, but as a major arcana, this is definitely um, a breakdown of past mental constructs, right? Or physical constructs or foundations that you've lived your life by. So this soulmate coming in, Cap Aquarius, could be throwing you for a loop a bit because you've, and I don't want to say you've never been in this Queen of Wands energy, but I think that this Queen of Wands energy has been a bit difficult to hone in for my Cappy Aquarius is spirit within the last six months ish, maybe to a year, you've been feeling this need to cultivate this Queen of Wands energy, right? This ability to read, right? This ability to kind of sense where um, where action needs to take place and when action needs to happen, right? So my Cap Aquarius is maybe coming out of a bit of a standstill, a bit of a stagnant vibration, but you've been working on that. You've been getting clear about what you want, right? About what energy would match you as far as a soulmate goes. And that could be bringing in some towers, okay? Now, tower moments, I fully embrace um, as painful as they can be sometimes, I'm not necessarily sensing that this is a painful one. I'm sensing that this is a freeing one. This is a tower moment that is releasing you from the past, releasing you from attachments, releasing you from mental constructs, right? Mental paradigms, uh, perspectives that no longer serve you, that no longer bring you in alignment, right? With this energy that's trying to come in 
and you're learning so much about yourself, Capricorns. I, I'm just getting that. I'm, yeah, I just feel very light and very free through my higher chakras. So you're definitely receiving some sort of upgrade. You're definitely going through some ascension process, but this trust is needed, right? And this this ability to allow yourself to be loved the way you want to be loved, right? Um, extending your lighthearted energy to others, allowing that energy of a new beginning to come in, right? So like we said here, letting go, trusting yourself, trusting in this new beginning. Here's your new beginning right here. And it's, and it's in the 3D. And I think my Capricorn is you might have been used to receiving new beginnings in other dimensions, right? So in the 4D or in the 5D or feeling it more internally than seeing it externally. But you're definitely getting that reward in the physical, okay? That balance in the physical, that new fresh start in the physical. You have the fool here beautiful energy just fresh clean slate right so allowing there we go allowing all of the past strife right all of the past strife all the past competition all the past spiritual warfare you've had to go through in love or because of love all of the past neglect um being looked over um you know that four of cups energy is not necessarily being happy with the love option so if my cap aquarius have dealt with lovers in the past who were a bit you know didn't necessarily give them all that they deserved right might have just kind of eh, looked at them like eh, you know or looked at you guys kind of like i don't really know that kind of indecisiveness um, or just not being ecstatic or, you know, not getting that reciprocity um, in love is coming to an end. Justice is here to balance that out. So this true love is going to bring you that new vibration, right? It's going to bring you that passion. It's going to ignite a fire in you with this Queen of Wands energy. Very, very beautiful because you've worked for it. You've worked for it. And that's the tower is that that soulmate... Um, yeah, that, 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 that energy and that passion you feel from whoever this person is or whatever opportunity this is, it's a match for you. And that's the tower moment, allowing that to be true. <laughs> allowing your mind, right, to rest and be at peace and understand that the work that you've put in, the work that you've done to release yourself is all coming back to you right in a good way is is bringing good energy and good balance to you very beautiful oh wow and then look at this sealing the deal the universe the world card done beautiful 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 energy cap aquarius um i just, I just want to say i'm so proud of you for some reason i think your guides your angels are super super proud and happy and ecstatic that you've gone through this journey, that you've trusted your intuition, you've stepped into your high priestess energy, you're allowing justice to come in and you're allowing that justice to form a completion in your, in your sense of spirit, right? In your spiritual strength, giving you a new beginning. And that's breaking down all the past karmic cycles that you've been through. Those are no more. It's like the tower is saying, yeah, no, we're done with repeating those cycles. It's it, we're here. <laughs> this is the world coming in, bringing in that justice, bringing it to a full completion. OK, um, super, super exciting energy, Capricorius and very calm. Like you're not letting this fiery kind of Leo energy get you too far off your rocker. It's like. No, like I'm here, let it burn away all that it needs to, but I still stand. I still stand. I'm fresh, I'm renew, I'm a new baby, basically. <laughs> You're a newborn baby. Cap Aquarius is okay, don't take offense to that, guys, okay? But just, you're new, you're fresh. You have fresh eyes, a fresh perspective. Um, so let's go ahead and hop into this Archangel deck and see what Archangels are with you and have been with you in Leo season for my Cap Aquariuses. Oof, right away. Thank you so much. Ah, 
gotta get that. So Archangel Uriel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. You know what to do. Ooh, trust yourself, Capricorius. You know yourself more than you think, okay? Especially with that Aquarian energy, star. The entire star, that is you. You know yourself. Trust yourself, okay? Outdoors, Archangel Jophiel. Go outside and get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So allow yourself to really soak up some nature. Allow yourself to be that full energy, right? Be in that newness. Allow yourself to be a little naive, a little um, childlike in your energy. Okay, leadership, Archangel Gabriel. It is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. Okay, so your virtue, right, with that three of wands, Cap Aquarius, and this, and then how you've moved that into this completion energy with the four of wands, this balance in, within yourself, bringing in that childlike energy and that flirtatious energy is giving you this new beginning and this new beginning is allowing you to be that leader with the queen of wands to be that leader it's gorgeous gorgeous and then healthy lifestyle archangel Raphael, eat a healthful diet get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health okay so this is like I said, a completely new lifestyle for you, Cap Aquarius, with the Ace of Pentacles, a completely new lifestyle. So call on Archangel Raphael to help you cultivate a new healthy practice of eating, sleeping, working out, taking care of your mind, body, and soul to support this new beginning, okay? So call on Archangel Uriel, call on Archangel Jophiel, call on Archangel Gabriel, and call on Archangel Raphael, okay, for Leo season. And even into Virgo season, I'll still be doing a, vi a video, but this is kind of where you are, and it's just so gorgeous. I am so excited for you, Cap Aquarius. I hope this reading resonated with you. Thank you so much for tuning in and sharing your beautiful energy with me. Um, and I pray you have a great rest of your Leo season, and I will see you in Virgo season, okay? Namaste.